It's Sean from Shooty School. I want to answer the question for beginners to amateur musicians. Are tune track products easy to use? The answer is yes. A follow-up answer is they can be advanced programs for complex tasks as well. But this video is for beginners that need to see something happen with the basics right now. Something you can do on day one and get results. With the exception of the program Easy Mix because it's a completely different style program. All TuneTrack products can find good sounds with a few clicks of a button and they can build songs fast simply by knowing where to look. Two super important things that can happen the moment you're done installing the programs. And by the way, Easy Mix is really easy to use as well, we're just not covering it today. Let's get started. The four TuneTrack instrument programs being Easy Drummer, Easy Bass, Easy Keys, and Superior Drummer, I'm going to call these the four core programs in this video. They all come with what's called MIDI files. These files are parts of songs that you put together to create a full song. It's simply linear Legos. You just put these MIDI files together from left to right. And in every core program, there are main tabs at the top. You simply click the second tab and now you have access to these MIDI files. With the exception of Easy Keys, you simply select the big browser button instead down here. This is where you need to know to look to be able to build your song. There's no trick or special knowledge in this video. We're learning two very important and simple things. So relax and pay attention. You'll have a good sounding song to work with soon. The four core programs have their MIDI organized in a folder structure, just like the average person has a folder on their computer with pictures in it, for example. Simply click on the folder that is named after your core product. Easy Bass has an Easy Bass folder, Superior Drummer has a Superior Drummer 3 folder, and so on, with few exceptions. After you've found the core MIDI folder, in most cases, you will be presented with more folders segregated by genres of music. Start selecting the genre you're interested in, and now the next set of folders are probably going to be individual songs. These are the songs you can build easily. That's it so far. Find a genre in your core MIDI folder, pick a song, and now are ready to work. I suggest you do this quick exercise first if it's day one for you in any of the four core programs. After you do this on your own, you'll be able to create your own song. So let's choose a song without even hearing it. In Superior Drummer 3, I will choose the Mid Straight Ballad and select its intro folder. Inside are the drum beats that can be used for the intro of this song. In this bigger area are the results of the last folder we selected. It is a list of the intro drum beats we can possibly choose from, and let's also keep in mind you can use an intro for any section of your song, that's up to you, but for right now, for demonstration purposes, follow along. You can hit the play button to hear it if you wish. I'll just grab one and drag it to the beginning of the timeline down here instead, which is called the song track. Select the verse folder and drag a verse down. Select the pre-chorus folder and drag a pre-chorus down. Like I said, linear Legos, one after the other. Select the chorus folder and drag one of those down. As your song track fills up, you can use this little zoom box by dragging its sides to zoom in and out, or drag the entire box around like this to navigate your song track. So far, I've made my first standard song revolution, which is verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. These colored sections derived from the folders named verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. I can drag a marquee around them, excluding the intro, right-click on one of the selected MIDI files, and select Copy. And now select right after my last purple chorus MIDI file and select Paste. Now I have two song revolutions. It's just like a text editing program. I select what I want, right-click, and copy. Put my cursor where I want it, right-click, and select Paste. Now let's go into the Bridge folder and bring a beat or two down. Let's again right-click right after the green bridge blocks and select Paste All. We just pasted the third song revolution from earlier, and we just completed building our entire song without even hearing it. 
I asked of you to read some folder names and header text, and for you to simply drag MIDI files around, which ToonTrack calls these MIDI files grooves. After we dragged these grooves to the timeline that is called a song track, we then selected some grooves and copied and pasted them to quickly expand our song and we're done. That's it. That's how you build a song. Let me turn on the loop button. I'll put the playhead at the beginning of the song track simply by selecting in the ruler area and hit play or spacebar. This song we can see in the header text was originally recorded at 71 BPMs. If you want to hear it at that speed, double click here in the tempo box and type 71 and hit enter. Now we've changed the tempo, and if you're using a DAW, change the tempo in your DAW instead. A quick note about song structure parts, more so in Easy Bass and Easy Keys, but all the core programs is you might not see a bridge section for your song, or you might not see an intro. Some songs have them, some songs do not. So now we're hearing the song. Mine sounds very usable. I didn't handpick this song for this video, it's just that this works like a charm anytime I've ever done it, and I bet it will for you as well, for the most part. Now, the even more fun and more easy part. Since we have our song looping, select the first tab in your core program, or in Easy Keys, simply close the browser box. Every core program has two obvious drop-down menus in the upper right, or in the center with Easy Keys. The first drop-down box tells you which product you're listening to, which we won't cover right now. The more you buy, the more that list populates. The second drop-down menu has all of the different sound presets that you can select and instantly change the tone. Some products have more than others. Just read the drop-down menu names to get an idea and start clicking on stuff and test some sounds out and get a feel of what your core product can do. Save creating your next hit song for your next project. Just play around right now so you understand the capability of your new TuneTrack product. If you're on a Wii computer, you may not want to change presets while the program is playing, so simply pause in between changing the presets if needed. Here we've made a complete song and found sounds. I could export this song as audio to give it to someone else or use elsewhere. I could open this up in my DAW of choice and record to it. See the description below to take what I'm teaching you in this video further. In fact, I have an entire channel ready to take you to the next level. So are TuneTrack products easy to use? Yes, they are. I just taught you how to get sounds and build full songs in four different programs. Now, that may not be enough for what you aspire to do, but the next step is beyond the scope of this video, and it's up to how much energy you feel like putting into it. What's amazing about TuneTrack and why I'm so fond of them is I feel like I know their stuff pretty well. But these core programs still challenge me, and better, I challenge them on a regular basis. So when you're ready to take Easy to the next level, these programs will be with you on that endeavor. Easy Keys and Easy Bass have free demos at ToonTrack.com, so check them out. And Easy Drummer 3 and Superior Drummer 3, they don't have free demos, but you can check out my channel or the ToonTrack product pages and get a good feel of what they do. And know if you commit to buying them, you can get at least a good sound and a good song on day one. This is Sean from Shooty School. Check out my free social ToonTrack groups on Facebook and Discord. The links are in the description. And make sure you subscribe and come back to me if you think to be using TuneTrack software in the future, I'll take care of you. Rock on.